Welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today we are testing some lanyards. So every time I'm talking about lanyards with anyone who knows climbing, there's, there's always quite the debate about cut resistance. What are the best lanyards? What do you like to use? There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of opinions. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my experience out there. I'm actually gonna test, destructively test, a few lanyards that I use regularly and hopefully you guys will find this useful. So we're gonna be testing out a steel core lanyard. We're gonna test out a lanyard made of poison ivy or ivy, it's calamine, which is, I've seen that pretty commonly. I think it's something very similar to what is used in the Teufelberger CE uh, lanyard. There's also going to be a lanyard made of Tritec, which is my personal favorite. Um, and we're gonna test them all out with a silky, except for the steel core, because I think most everyone can agree a steel core lanyard will stop a handsaw, uh, no problemo. But these other two rope lanyards, there's some debate as to just how cut resistant they are. Uh, we're, we're gonna go at it with a silky, see how easy it is to hack through it under a full load, uh, full weight. And uh, then we'll hit it with a chainsaw too. On one of my, we'll take my lightest duty chainsaw and we'll assume anything bigger will cut it faster. So we'll take my lightest duty chainsaw, cut the all three lanyards and see how tough it is to go through. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you find this stuff valuable, I appreciate your support. And I should have a Patreon uh, going on soon. As, as you know, I'm, I'm gonna be breaking gear today. And this is all into my own pocket. No one's paid for this. This is all my own gear, my own saws that I'm gonna dull on my, chain, on my uh, steel core lanyard. So if you wanna support me, I'd appreciate it. Look me up on Patreon, the link will be in the description. Here we go. So that's how we're gonna do it for these two rope lanyards. I'm gonna come just like I would, was uh, trying to attack a branch. I'm not gonna just go straight across it in the easiest possible way, because it's not very often we do that. But I'm gonna come at a little bit of an angle along the parallel of the trunk, swipe it as hard as I can. I'm to totally slack on my uh, top tie, but it'll be there to catch me when I presumably bust free. And I'm gonna use one hand, so here we go. So this is the poison ivy or ivy lanyard. Here we go, slack. Two decent swipes. This saw is not brand new, but it's not old either. This is well in the middle of its life. It's still pretty damn sharp. So there we go, it's a pretty clean cut. Uh, this rope should didn't have any other nicks or mars on it. It's a little bit rough from use, but it's not by any means any weaker than than any other rope I would I would normally feel comfortable with. That was not hard at all. Like I did, I could have done it if I had used one hand and come. I mean, two hands and come straight across it. That probably would have gone in one swipe. As it was, it was two easy swipes and I was done. So that's the uh, the rope lanyard. Sure doesn't take much to cut with uh, with a handsaw. Okay, so here we've got Tritec. I'm gonna use the same thing, one hand, as many swipes as it takes. Here we go. There you go. So that's the uh, Tritec with the heat resistant and cut resistant cover. All right, so you can see with that, pretty clean cut. Now, I've got a sharp silky. I'm, I'm surprised a little bit by that, by that outcome. I've cut this stuff with knives and razor blades uh, on a number of occasions, and it is really, it's quite a bit more difficult to cut than a standard rope. But in this instance, that wasn't that much different. That was three swipes rather than one. And two, I mean, rather than two. Uh, while I think I could have gotten through the other rope in one swipe, I think maybe I could have gotten through this in two if I was really trying. But as it was, that was only one additional swipe to get through this Tritec. So I might have to rethink just how cut resistant I think this is. Of course, it depends on just how sharp your knife is, how sharp your silky. I suspect this would hold up a lot better to a duller silky, one that's been in use for longer, but that's not that different. It's really not that different. All right, now none of you are intentionally swiping your rope. So it occurred to me that I ought to do a couple of sort of incidental, accidental type swipes, like when you're knocking branches out of a tree with your silky, or you just happen to overshoot it when you're throwing, or there's a lot of times you come in contact where it's not that dramatic. So I'm gonna see if there's any difference with a silky when it comes to just light hits. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what that looks like. So if I whack this thing, I'm still under tension.
That's pretty, those are pretty aggressive contacts and I'm aiming for the same spot. That would be some time before I got through that. Um, even, even giving it at a hard angle where those teeth are really grabbing. I'm not really, I haven't even seen any core yet. There's a little bit there where I've hit it a bunch of times. Let's try here again with the ivy rope. All right, here we are back with the ivy. I'm gonna go at it again the similar way that I did with the tri-tech rope. So here we go. These angle hits do a lot more damage. But it actually holds up pretty well, surprisingly so. I wonder if you can count these hits on the, uh, on the video. Here we go. Time for a chainsaw test. That didn't take much. No pressure at all, just a couple light touches is all it took. If I had pushed right through, it would have cut right through. Whew. So for the sake of uh, curiosity, we're gonna see how fast you can push it through. That last one was like a couple of light touches and away it went, but this I'm just gonna plow through like I was pushing through a branch that was a little bit dull and I overshot it. So here we go. Nothing. I didn't even resist. I just right through it. Okay, time for some Tri-Tech. All right, we got some fresh Tri-Tech now. I'm gonna cut over here where I haven't already cut on it. So here we go. Yeah, it's basically the same. There is very little to no difference between this and that other rope. I'll bet you I could power right through it, same as I would, same as I just did. And as I'm running out of rope to test on, you might just call that the conclusion there. <laughs> but let's bust out the wire core and uh, we'll trash this chainsaw blade and see how well it holds up. All right, I'm just gonna remind you guys, this is, hurts me a little bit because I paid for all this stuff. So help me out if you can. Here we go. Was that five hard hits. Each one of those hits was harder than what I was doing with the other ropes, but it definitely took, it would not have gone through in one swipe, period. We can try one, but this blade's pretty toast. <laughs> so I have to sharpen it up first. So I admit that cut through even easier than I expected or Jose expected. So that it really does not take much for a chainsaw to cut through a lanyard. For those of you who don't know, um, it, it took more with this for sure, maybe maybe three, four, five times more, but five times more of a small number is still not that much. Uh, I'll go ahead and sharpen this up and try one more time and just see how fast I can power through it. But, um, but just know, you know, this will help, but it will not stop a chainsaw. Like it'll stop a handsaw. So I did a little touch up with a saw. I'm gonna do another quick in the wood test so you can see how the sharpness compares. It won't be as sharp as it was before, but it'll probably cut. Not as good as it was, still totally cuttable. The next test we're gonna do is 
is a test like if you were a total newbie, you didn't realize you were cutting your, your uh, lanyard and you're just powering through a branch. We're gonna try and see how long it takes to just cut straight through that steel core lanyard, just straight on. <laughs> There you go. Actually holds up a little bit better to a direct abuse than it does to the impact. I'll bet you the teeth aren't grabbing quite as hard when you're just plowing through it. Saw lots of sparks. Still surprises me. Thanks for joining me on Strategy Gear this week. I hope you found that informative. I sure did. Nothing like destructive testing to really get to the bottom of what our gear can handle. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback. Just don't give me too much of a hard time for not having a chain break on that chainsaw. That's the old thing's retired. We don't use it anymore. But anyway, hope you guys take care of yourselves and I'll catch you next time.